I, I still love you. I'll, I'll be back. Good morning, my last day here in Vegas. And as much as I love buffets, I gotta get some noodles. And there are quite a few really good looking noodle places here in Vegas. So I wanna go try a bunch of places and see how they are. And we're starting with this one here, Shang Artisan Noodle. All right, so they have some sauce noodles, dandan noodles. Skip the chow mein, don't want any of that. Oh, nice shaved noodles, hand pulled noodles, plain noodles. We'll get some Sean beef noodles with a nice shave. The prices, they're okay. Four or five dollars for one of the appetizers. Not too bad. So this is traditionally how knife cut noodles are made. And in China, actually, that dough will be on the chef's head and they slice it that way. It makes it a little more dangerous. It looks like they make their own dumplings, everything in house. It's always good. This is the dandan noodle. Minced meat, scallions, hand pulled regular noodles on top. All the sauce, everything on the bottom. It looks like from first glance, pretty good. Bowl of dandan noodles. It's not too soupy. When I'm mixing the noodles, it has a good pull to them. Good portion for five bucks. And this is bowl number two. This is their classic beef noodle soup. And I got the knife pull noodles, which are these. So these are gonna be cut a little irregular, but they're gonna be thick and chewy. And in China, these were some of my favorite noodles ever. And these noodles, what's good about them is they're not gonna get soggy really quick in the broth. Looks like big chunks of beef. Broth looks good, and they gotta have hot oil here. I'm pretty sure hot oil and vinegar. Yep. And I got some spicy wonton, because when this thing is on the menu, I just have to get it. Wonton and hot oil, okay. The skin looks pretty thin. It's like a good chunk of meat in here. So excited, so hungry. Mmm. Oh, that's a loaded soup. And this thing, I really don't think it fit much more flavor into this. First sip, all that umami beefy flavor just pounds your senses. That is a great soup base. And this is just my own personal preference. Add a little vinegar. It's gonna highlight that beef flavor, all that rich broth even more. Oh, absolutely. A little more. Because Chinese vinegar, the black kind is not all that sour. It's more used to enrich the broth or whatever it touches. And personally, I could use a little more hot oil. And I'm eating this noodle first because obviously I don't want my noodles to get soggy and this is soaking in the broth. Really nice springy chewy noodles, especially knife cut noodles. Like I consider myself pretty good judge of its texture and flavor and this place nailed it. Mm, beef is tender, noodles are chewy, yet it's soaked in all that great beefy umami flavor. That's like, what I love about good noodles. It maintains this thick, chewy texture. At the same time, like, the broth is able to steep in. It's able to have that rich beef flavor in every single bite. All right, dandan noodles, like I said, I'm able to tell whether a noodle is, is very elasticy and chewy just by pulling at it. And this thing already feels like it's gonna be a good bite. Mm. Noodle texture is springy, it's chewy. The sauce is great. This is awesome. Mm. It doesn't taste like a typical dandan noodle. It's more like a minced meat, minced beef noodle, but still, the flavor is amazing. More hot oil, vinegar. Let's try one of these things. You know what? Hot oil wontons. Mm. Not bad. The sauce is good. They already added their own vinegar and sesame. The skin is very, very thin. Big chunk of meaty filling. And they give you a ton of wontons for like five bucks. Mm. 
I gotta say, this place is better than most noodle places I've had in New York. I'm not kidding about that. I mean, it's surprising because it doesn't look like a traditional noodle place. I think this might even be a chain. Also, what I like about this place, they do not stinge on the meat. Tons of ground beef, tons of chunks in the beef noodle soup. This is one of the best bowls of knife cut noodles I've had in a while. This might be the best noodle place in Las Vegas, but we'll see. I got a few more places to check out. That was so deeply satisfying. Next place I'm going to is called the Magic Noodle. We'll, we'll see if it's more magical than that place. There we go, the Magic Noodle. All right, this place also specializes in handmade noodles, lanjo noodles, which are typically thinner than the typical noodles, but they also have a thick version. And their most popular dishes are the Sichuan beef brisket and the uh, Chongqing style spicy noodle. I got a different type of noodle here. It's, it's the white noodle that's not the knife cut noodle. Next noodle, this is called a Sichuan xiao mian. It basically means Sichuan little noodles, but I, I changed the noodles out for wide noodles. But typically with this dish, the whole thing looks like the mouth of a volcano. I mean, it's supposed to be just bright red, tons of meats, pickled veggies, peanuts, and a mound of chilies. If this is not red, this will not be Sichuan noodles. These noodles are a little different than the two we had this morning. This is like the mid-tier of noodles. This is called Kuan Mian, or wide noodles. They're not the widest of all noodles. It's basically the Toyota Camry of noodles. And on the side, I got an order of black fungus. This is something that we love to eat. So basically when Chinese people eat noodles, we always have like these little dishes on the side to kind of cool noodles down a little bit and just some additional flavor. This thing is great. It's essentially a mushroom. It's got a superb crunch. It's light. It's great with vinegar and a little hot oil. Oh, yeah. That's Sichuan flavoring. Spicy and nummy. That's good broth though. It's very meaty. There's tons of little random bits of pork in here. It's also really nice little bits of peanuts. This is all right. A little too much sugar for me. The reason I got a little wider noodles is because typically these noodles are a little chewier and they don't get soggy as much. Look at that. These noodles have really good texture. They're chewy and very fresh tasting. Now, they're not going to be as chewy as the knife cut noodles I had earlier. And they're not meant to be. The chewiness level is kind of in between like the really thick noodles and the really thin ones. And you can see like every strand of noodles is covered and it's not slipping off anywhere. So the Spider-Man grabbing skills of these noodles are 100% active. And the broth is very good as well. It's, it's nummy and spicy, but not overly nummy. Sometimes these noodles, the ones I had in New York, become a little too nummy, and trust me, Nobody wants to be too nummy. And I love the seasoning, the little ingredients they have inside the broth. So it's very thick and it got all sorts of textures. You got the crunchy peanuts, crunchy bok choy, preserved vegetables, and it works very well with the chewy, meaty bits of pork and of course, the noodles. It is really good. We can take a bite of noodles, chase it with some fungi. This thing's got tons more vinegar and sugar. So it kind of like brings a vinegary, refreshing taste to your mouth after your noodles. So you don't feel like the noodles are too rich for you. It's a very busy bowl of noodles, but this is delicious. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. You're riding shotgun. So far, the couple plays I've been to in Vegas, pretty darn good. I think the first one, I, I still love so much more. Maybe it's because I was really hungry in the morning, but that is a spectacular place. Second one, very tasty. I think a little cheaper, but I prefer number one. But for me, that knife sliced noodle and that beef broth was everything. I'm going to a place now. They don't open till 5.30. It's this Japanese udon place. So I, I figured I haven't udon Japanese noodles yet. So let's go, let's go eat there. Wow, this place looks cool. Hey. Oh, that's me with bunny glasses on. So this is kind of like a cafeteria setting. Grab a tray and then you choose what you want.
This is cool. So you get your noodles and then you go get your tempura, whatever you want. Then you sit down and eat. This is an awesome place. It's really cool. Capico on tap. If you never had a Capico soda, you got it. Mmm, yogurty and bubbly. This place is impressive looking. I mean, look at these two. That's the foes of noodles. I got a mintaiko, which is a popular fish roll from Japan, and also I got miso pork udon. They specialize this stuff in uh, Fukuoka, Japan, and it's so delicious. And I'm not one that usually likes fish eggs, but the fish eggs is so good. It's got this great, nutty, creamy, very rich flavor. And this is the pork miso. Let's see if we can find the pork somewhere. There's the pork, ground pork. Oh, and there's a lot of it. it smells like fermented bean sauce like a zhajiang mian kind of deal with udon. So I got basically a surf and turf twin bowls of udon. I mean, this might seem like a big bowl with not so much udon in there. Don't be deceived. This is just a really, really big bowl. I don't even know which one I want to try first. Let's do the mintaiko. Excuse me, pork. Be right with ya. Oh, that's great. This was such a right choice. I came in, I didn't know what I wanted. Then I saw them making this thing. And right away, it was like staring across a crowded train station. And the love of your life was the only thing in focus. And dressed in pink. Right here. So if you never had mint taiko before, it's a little briny. And when you cook it, it turns into this creamy paste. And they cooked it together here with some kind of creamy Alfredo-esque sauce. And you can still taste a little bits of mint taiko, which gives off that wonderful flavor, like the good parts of the ocean taste. And all that is combined with the creamy sauce covering the chewy, al dente, thick udon noodles. Now, I haven't tried a lot of the udon dishes here. It's my first one, but I'm thinking this is a must get when you come here. I gotta try this miso pork. Love that first bite. I feel kind of bad because like the mint I cold udon is literally just kind of staring at me from over there and we just had our intimate moment and now like I'm showering this thing with all the attention that it really does deserve. Sorry, I still love you. I'll, I'll be back. Udon here is so good. Great smooth chewy flavor. Like I said, it tastes like Chinese jajiang man. It's got that wonderful aromatic fermented bean flavor. And that sauce is covering delicious marinated pork, spicy chili peppers, giving this just the right degree of heat. If you love Jaja Man, either the Chinese version or the Korean version, you will absolutely endure this. Again, what they do great is that the sauce is enough to cover all the noodles head to toe. So you don't get a single strand that's not completely just bombarded with flavor from this meaty sauce. Also, what they're having here, a little bit of cilantro for that aromatic flavor, some crunchy cucumber for the nice texture, nice ginger, and little bits of mushrooms. Vegas. Seriously, who knew? I mean, I knew you got great buffets, but got some made noodle places. Whew, that thing spiced me all up. All right, come here, baby. Great to be with you again. Wow, an amazing noodle day here. Because when I used to think about Las Vegas, I didn't really think about, you know, authentic Chinese food or authentic noodles or amazing udon. But seriously, it's not called Simply Delicious City for nothing. And instead of Sin City, they should really call this place Simply Delicious City. Anyway, this is my last meal here in Vegas. Tomorrow I'm flying to LA, uh, and then to Uzbekistan. And this was a really short trip. This was like a two and a half day trip. I'm gonna be back, I think later in the fall for a full week, because I was researching places for noodles. I, I found tons of amazing looking Korean barbecues and, and, and conveyor belt, all you can eat hop. I'll be back. Oh, there's one more place we have to go. Apparently the best bubble tea. This place, Brew Tea Bar, overwhelmingly voted the best bubble tea in Las Vegas. How good could it be? All right, so these are the two drinks. This is the brew. Okay, so Jenny here says this is her favorite. Shy. It's okay. She convinced me to get this. It's good. It's a classic. And, but this is the most popular one. 
Well, the bubbles are good. She's good. Milky. Your boba is really good. I'll give you that. Your boba is very, very good. This is the Hokkaido milk. Mm, yeah, I love Hokkaido milk. I'll, I'll get this. I mean, I like it, but I like this. That was a cool little bubble tea place. By far the best customer service ever had at a bubble tea place. And I think that definitely contributes to why people love it so much. Teas are good. Hokkaido milk tea is really flavorful. That was a good way to cap off my Las Vegas trip. Always enjoy being here. Can't wait to come back. Hopefully when it's much cooler. So till next time, my simply delicious city. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching all the places I went to listed down below. Until we eat again, see you later.